Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is CheeseBoy628 here today giving you a PS Live Pokemon Showdown Live with uh, your boy Cheese and uh, your boy Cheese. Because uh, he's alone today, can't find people today. Although he has some really cool people he wants to do it with really soon and in the future and all that cool stuff. And if you want to do it as well, I'm sure you're pretty cool as well. And uh, if you want to do that, just hit me up on Skype at CheeseBoy628 and we can totally do stuff, because that'll be cool. Um, I remember this team with Iduaya. Uh, we did it on a team building Tuesday a little bit ago. You know what, let's try it out. I haven't played with it since, but I'm sure it works very dandy. And uh, let's see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, I just saw Shofu Cypher a bit ago. Not even bad. Some really awesome people in it, just saying, super cool. Okay, looking at this guy's team. Oh my gosh. Mandibuzz and Musharna are easily the worst, the, the most difficult pokes to play against. <sighs> On the bright side, he doesn't have a spinner, so Mandibuzz is definitely going to take damage from that. But, yeah, okay, so bring the Braviary. I don't care. Fine by me. I'll probably just U-turn. I mean, if he Brave Birds, he's at a risk of taking a Willow, taking a Lava Plume. You know. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, Braviary. Kind of, I guess that's telling me his Braviary's Scarfed. That's what that's telling me. That's cool to note. Uh, his Sock could be Bandit. His Electros could be Specs, Life Orb. I don't know. We could see. Oh, it would be so nice to get a Toxic off on this thing. No! Is this real? This man has sub on his man to us. Please tell me Lava Plume breaks it. Please. It doesn't even break it. Oh my lord. Is this real? This is real. Uh, okay. So I know he's going to go for the sub this turn. So, what do I want to do? I mean, I don't care. Electros Choice Specs is probably the best bet. Because I can just lock myself in a T-Bolt. I could have just run into Musharna. You know what? Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Musharna, predicting the Toxic. That way it synchronizes over. Boom. And now, we can get off a nice, easy heal bell and be on our merry way. He's going to go for the Foul Play, which is a really weird play. I mean, it's Stab Super Effective, sure, but I'm a special attacker. Although I don't think I have zero IVs in attack. So that's a thing. Um, that said, I don't really know what he's going to do. Um, Cotton Guard. Such a weird Altaria. Hardly remember this thing. Oh, that's right. I have two Stealth Rockers on this team. Um, so I'll go into Altaria. See what he does. He's staying with the Toxic. Not really understand what he's doing. Is he just trying to get as many things toxic as possible? Hmm. Well... If he lets himself stay in a couple more turns, he's going to die from rocks, so... Okay, my goal is just to keep my socks sturdy and intact, and I should be fine. Um, just keep having these bulky pokes take these toxics, and we'll be fine. Okay, he goes for the roost. Um, I guess he's probably planning on switching out soon. And yep, he goes in the sock, actually. Go for that poison. Not sure what he's gonna go for. I mean, Musharna should take a hit, please. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So it's not a two a KO. I think I'll do all right. Mandibuzz and Musharna are crazy. Not to mention they seem like a pretty good core. Just looking at it right now. So it goes back into Braviary. He has freedom to U-turn right now. I couldn't care less really. Uh, but I'll just go into Torkoal. Might as well. I mean, he takes rocks damage from U-turn. I mean, he has a really threatening team. He's just not utilizing it as well as he should, honestly. Hmm. So this, yeah, liking this battle. What are we at? We're at about five minutes. Brings in Sock again. Doesn't really matter. I mean, you could go for EQ. Couldn't really care less. It's probably what he's gonna go for. I realize I felt. Yeah, okay. He goes for Ice Punch. Maybe predicting the EQ, so I'd go into Altaria, predicting that. 
I don't know. Um, he has no reason to stay in. And he forfeits. Okay. Yeah, because that core stalled him out. That was a pretty solid battle. Are you? Um, it's a team I haven't used in a while. I haven't made RU teams in a while. It's kind of weird. And I totally should. Um, I like Boof. I really need to make new RU teams just looking at this. There's only like three RU teams I use. Okay. He's got that Sceptile. Definitely threatening. Threatening. And uh, he has no fire types. So that's a weird thing. That almost star. If that's Shell Smash, I'm scared. Although I have Quagsire. But if he has HP Grass, that could, be, that could be spooky. Okay. But, um, I could start with Kabutops. And, let's see. Let's see what he goes for. Maybe the Taunt? I don't know. We'll see. Seems like a standard lead sash Aerodactyl. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> I stay corrected. Uh, his best play is definitely going to Sceptile, exactly what he does. And I do have Bouffant, and we can scout what kind it is. I don't want to eat up a Focus Blast, though, if it is the special variant. Even though the physical variant is much better, in my opinion. But, am I especially, I'm pretty sure I'm especially defensive Dredigan. So, that will be what I go into. He is the Swords Dance variant. And... I could just go for the glare, if I live, but I don't. And now, this thing is about to destroy my team. Probably has Drain Punch. And uh, I just need to hope HP Fire does a lot. Unless he doesn't have Drain Punch. Swords Dance, Acrobatics, Leaf Blade, and then one coverage move. He has EQ. Is this real? Oh my... Uh... Okay, well, I have no other option. Yes! He just did that! He just did that! He's like, please, please don't be Sapsipper. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yes! <laughs> he said, dang it, I'm too sleepy. Yeah, oh, that basically cost him the game. Pretty much. No, didn't cost him, that's for sure. Now, the thing is, I can't bring anything in on this Excelgore. And I die. <laughs> He's a life orb. He could definitely have Giga Drain. Um, let's see, what am I? I'm Choice Scarfed. Yes. I dig. And I could just go for the Fire Blast. And that's what I'll do. Fire Blast destroys the rest of his team besides Omastar. And as long as I have Quag, I should be fine. That I don't know. The thing is, Omastar, of course, quad resists, has the opportunity to smash me right now. So, yeah. Basically, if he has HP Grass, GG. If he doesn't, then I have a chance. So let's check it. There it is. <laughs> yep. That was, that was very quick paced. I don't think I outspeed. There's no way. Right? I don't think so. If I am, that would be super cool. Oh, I outspeed! I need sashed! Okay. It's kind of interesting. Because I'm a derp, and I have Aqua Jet on this thing. <laughs> so, only thing is, Sinjino probably has Bullet Seed. And so, it's over. Unless I crit flinch with the Aqua Jet. Fine by me. Nope. <laughs> He probably got that skill link, so it's all good. Still, yeah. Basically, the problem was I couldn't let Omastar sweep. But, yeah, I let it happen. Oh, well. Doesn't even say GG. What the heck, man. Yeah, I just need to make some new teams in RU. They're just outdated. Um, Let's see. VGT. Hmm. Nash play. It's a pretty cool team I haven't used in a while, actually. So let's utilize it. It's a super cool Trick Room team. And hopefully it still works in the current meta. And we're gonna see how that goes. We're only like 10 minutes in. We get we have plenty of time for battles. What am I even saying? Hmm. Okay. 
Very standard, very standard indeed. Scarf Rotom Heat, maybe? Life Orb Man Shell? I don't know. These things can be very versatile. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, might as well start with that Cress. See what he does. Goes in Verizian. He doesn't want to stay on a Cresselia. Wouldn't make any sense. So I'm going to go for that Trick Room. And we're going to see what to do from there. He decides to bring in Rotom Heat. Uh, seems like a great opportunity to go into Rhyperior. I'm sorry for the random noise that has just happened. <laughs> so, uh, free opportunity to go into my Rhyperior and start killing things. Hopefully. Except he goes for the trick. And that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know what he's going to go into. Huh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> do I go for the Rock Blast or do I go for the EQ? What do I do? Like, he doesn't want to stay in. So I'm going to EQ. Boom! Yes! Damage. Now he knows I'm locked in. Go back right in the Rotom Heat. Or Flygon, of course. And basically, Kofagrigus cannot take two outrages. I don't think so. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Moonlight on that. But I have to switch out. I don't want to waste my Rhyperior. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Scarecrow is going to be doing very much this game anyway. Seeing as his dual stab is not very useful for the u-turn interesting on the bright side i get switch and in switch initiative so that's cool it's five five and i still have my trick room abusers being my cofagrigus and Cresselia. now he brings in mian chow and huh I think this gives me the opportunity to set up with Cofagrigus. I really do. I'm gonna go for that nasty plot. Goes for the U-turn. Of course he gets a crit. Of course. Of course he does. And so, let's see what he brings in. It'd be nice to get a Trick Room off next turn. I don't know what he's gonna do. If he brings in Flygon and try to kill me with Outrage, that's fine. I'm gonna go for that trick room first. I wonder if he's gonna go for that trick. Try to get me some more right recoil. I can pronounce things today. And so, let's see what he does. I mean, he can overheat. I don't think that'll kill. Cofagrigus is bulky, that's why it's UU. Everything in UU is either super hyper offense or super stally. I guess there's other options, but you know. See, this is why you don't turn on the timer, then, then I get some justice. You know what I'm saying. I don't know if Shadow Ball can kill. Nope. Too bulky. But I live. And I would have lived last turn too, so it doesn't matter too much. Well, that's kind of funny because it's Life Orb it did so much. So, yeah. Really, I could have got another nasty plot off. Oh well. Well, technically not since he missed the. Uh, but whatever. The point is, I'm in a decent position. I can just go for the Shadow Ball. And he lives pretty nicely. Gets the spit after up. Okay, so he's the special variant. And life orb. Although he could be combined. Or he could be mixed with the workup. But I don't know. We could find out. Easily going to Piglet right now. And I'm just going to go for that hammer arm. Life orb hammer arm will totally kill this thing. Since it has like what? Base 85 defenses. I don't know. It's still bulky, only in the lower tiers though. Uh, slash data, Verizian. Um, base 72 defense, okay. Okay, so he is life orb man Xiao. So that's the only, the only reason he'd bring this in is if he has fake out. So, boom. So now there's no way he wants to stay in. He's gonna U-turn of course. And I'm just gonna set up another trick room. Let's see what he goes into. He still has that regenerator, so Mianchao's going to be annoying for a while. I notice that this team doesn't have rocks, 
So that's, I don't know how I feel about that. It's pretty hyper offense anyway, but you know, it's the best move in the game, so. Now, I don't know what I really want to do here. Um, if he EQs, he could just EQ, but I don't know. I'm going to go for the Psychic. It does a third. That's solid. Now, he goes for the U-turn. No problems. No problems. Goes into Mian Chao. Ooh. Only thing is, okay. So I'm going to go into Rhyperior, and here's where I have a situation. Of course, the fake out's very obvious because he wants as little Trick Room turns as possible. Cress is so good. And so, now I have the... I have the Ice Punch, basically. That's what I'm getting at. And so I'm wondering, do I go for the EQ or do I go for the Ice Punch? He probably thinks he can take a Rock Blaster Mega Horn. So I'm going to predict and go for the Ice Punch. We're going to see how that goes because that's going to be pretty crazy. Boom. There it is. So if I get one more Trick Room off, I can sweep this guy with Rhyperior as my win condition. And so that would be cool. But, yeah, let's see what he brings in. He brings in Mian Chao. He can easily go for the fake out, of course. Probably what he's going to do. Otherwise, he's going to have to take an ice punch to the dome. So, boom. Pretty sure I can live a U-turn from this range. So, yeah. Set up a trick room. Yep, I live. And, of course, he's going to bring in Raikou. Oh, That'd be nice for style points, yes. Only thing is... Is that... Okay, I just need to think this out. Basically, my... I could go into my Snorlax right now and go for the Belly Drum and sweep this man. But I have four turns to do it. So one would be switching out to Snorlax, two would be setting up the Belly Drum, Three, yeah. I think I'll have just enough. So I'm gonna go into Snorlax. One, that pick fat. Set up a belly drum. Oh wait, no, 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 no. This won't work exactly as I planned because he has fake out. Like that's what I've been worried about. Okay. He goes for HPS again. I guess he's choiced. That's fine. I'm just going to go for that return. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because he has the fake out, obviously. And so, I mean, I might as well stay in. I have no reason not to. The thing is, what Mian Chao doesn't carry high jump kick. Um, so I'm gonna go for the return. If I so- <gasps> He misses! <laughs> you know, that's really unfortunate because that would have made this game so much closer. Like, if Crest can't take it at 20%. Mmm, he says I won. I'm gonna tell him... Eh. Coulda. Not necessarily. Because I got that uh, bulk from Rhyperior. I was uh, pretty sure I'm ex I don't know. I've got a ton of defense investment. Um, let's see. Where's that team? I just want to figure it out. Just so I don't look like a jerk. And so I'll probably calc it afterwards and leave it in the description. But where's my team? I just have so many teams. Yeah, I'll just post it afterwards. But, yeah, cool. Um, heavy rain, yes. Okay, so I wanted to upload a battle with this team for a while, but I just haven't given it enough justice. It's a team Mr. Falco made for me, and it was after NBZ's amazing Heavy Rain LP. Oh my gosh, I was so into it. And so, and uh, basically he made a team kind of based on that. Oh yeah. 
Uh, I'm just gonna tell the guy. I'm just wondering if he's jolly. Folly. Yes, nailed it. Cheese, nailed it. Okay, so. Oh, he's requesting the timer. He's got dog. I love when people say that. It's so funny. Okay. Um. Gosh, noises. Noises all over the place. Okay, yeah. He says his man shell was jolly. I can see that in the bottom right. Of course, you can't see that. But yeah. Basically, um, I just need to. Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn. It's Ferrothorn. Okay. I'm gonna go into my size or and see how that goes. So many things while I Okay, I swear, if this thing is HP Fire, I'm going to be upset. And he's not getting Giga Drain. He's not. He might sleep powder. Boom! Okay. Escaping, escaping danger. Thing is, Rosary's kind of a threat to this team. If one thing can't take Giga, it can't take HP Fire. Huh. I wonder if this guy has the sleep powder. Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, he froze him, but he has natural cure, so it's okay. Um, he's gonna switch out, and he doesn't want to take. There's no way he's bringing in Skarmory. So I'm thinking a Toxic is in order. If he brings in Latias, I'd be so happy. But no, he brings in Jellicent. Still satisfied with that. There's no spin around this team. That's the one thing I remember. I'm not exactly crazy about, but I mean it's cool. I'll go. Um. <laughs> he could go for the Willow. So that's what I'm worried about right now. And Jelson is the ultimate Caldeo uh, counter. And so is Latias. And even Roserade. <laughs> so I don't think Caldeo is going to be doing a lot this game. Even though the rest of his team doesn't appreciate Surfs. So. Oh, I could go into Conkledur. Oh my gosh. I could probably sweep this man's team. With Conkledur if they're if I have the right setup. But in order to do that, I don't want to go directly into a Scald or something of the sort. Turns out he brings in Roserade. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So um Yeah, he's wondering if I'm running cows. I will in a bit. Um anyway, I don't want to take a Giga. I wonder if he predicts this with the HP fire, even although the rain is up right now, so I don't know, I'll be alright. Ah, oh, he got the second layer of toxic spikes up, so it's not going to be as nice. I'm gonna go for the gyro. Oh crap! Oh, I got the lumber! Yes! 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 This is why this is the best Barathorn in the freaking world! Oh my gosh! Now the guy's being nice to me, so that's cool. He's like, that's not... <laughs> what the F, Lumberry? There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, my one counter to the Skarmory is Caldeo. So, gotta go into it. And... He might just bring in Jellicent. Like, that's what I'm worried about right now. So, I'm wondering if I should just switch out and go into Ferrothorn. And... Thing is, I don't know if I should. I don't really have counters. Dude, oh yeah, that's it. It's Skarm, that's Skarm Jellicent Core, which I really don't like. But, oh my gosh, that Lumberry, yes. It's so beautiful. Please switch out, please. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I'm very specially defensive. I remember him saying that in, um, when he was showing me the team. A really awesome team. I love it. If you see all the names, you can see what I'm referring to with such. Now I'm plus one, and I've got guts, and I've got this stab drain punch to the dome. I'm really hoping that does a really nice chunk. Okay, it does 55. That's solid. Goes for the whirlwind. Ah, oh, this is a problem. I'm gonna go into Caldeo. Okay, so he doesn't. Please predict me to over predict. <laughs> Please. No! <laughs> Freaking. This is really bad. This is why I hate this core. 
it's that it's just so frustrating. If only I got him to get the toxic up before. Um, he has no reason to over predict right now. I just need to toxic stall this thing. That's my issue. I just will go into gastro, I guess. The only thing is I don't have scald on this thing. So that's a bit frustrating. Um, I went for the taunt. So I'm going to go for that earth power. Might as well. See no reason not to. So he is faster. Um, does, gosh, could, could this phone stop making noise, please? Thank you. Um, he gets the spit F drop. Not a big deal, obviously, since I'm going to die from toxic really soon anyway. But basically, he has to recover or something of the sort right now. That's what he does. But that toxic is definitely getting him good real quick. Um, I love the toxic now, so that's cool. I'm just going to go for another earth power. Unless, I mean, he might go out to Skarmory, predicting, he might go into Latias. Oh no, he goes to the Shadow Ball. Not a big deal at all. Yes, he dies from poison! This is huge! This is huge. There's only one counter to Caldeo left, and that's Latias. So, if I play this correctly, I can certainly pull this off. But it's going to be difficult. It really will. I could just serve everything. As long as I'm in the rain, though. Pretty sure Stoutland will die. I don't know. Oh, I gotta be careful. He's probably gonna bring in his Apowdon. Probably what he's gonna do. I don't know. I'm gonna go into Norman Jaden. Brings in his Apowdon. As expected. And by the way, I do have Sleep Talk on the Caesar. Because freaking Mr. Falco is awesome and knows what he's doing. And uh, that's a nice, nice U turn. That's beautiful damage. And now, I'm gonna go into Polytoad. I just need to think about this. He goes for his rocks. Now, there's no way he wants his Apout on Take a Scald right now. The only thing that he'd want to do anything is bring in Latios. Ladius is now going to be toxic stalled. So, this is looking alright. It really is. There's a chance. I could bring in Ferrothorn. Okay, he brings in a Poudon. Interesting. All he could do left with his Skarmory is get up his hazards. So that's a thing. I mean, he doesn't have much left to actually get up. Um, I don't know. What's he gonna do? Roost, maybe? He's probably his best bet. You know, predicting a switch. Or he could get his final layer of spikes up. I don't want to reveal the bulldoze. No! This is why Showdown sucks. <laughs> How? Okay, he whirlwinds. That's not a big deal. Um, he might just go for the whirlwind but i really don't know you know i'm just gonna go for the drain punch he does go for the whirlwind okay brings in mad jack ah. <laughs> that's the problem freaking freaking jellison why why would you do that okay well i'm gonna go for the gyro of course now now you go for the roost now you go for it Darn you, Dinkleberg. And <laughs> this guy is predicting me like no other. No. He doesn't want to take a Scald. He doesn't, but... Can't really bring anything in. Can bring in Latios, I guess, but... Oh, this is not a good situation. It really isn't. I don't think I'll live hazards now. Can I? 25 plus 12, 37. Nope, I die. So, okay, still do a number to his Latias. So that's cool. And I'm freaking Caldeo in the rain. Ooh, this is huge. I can do this. 
Okay. So I could go... Yeah. I'm gonna go into freaking Caldeo. This is my last chance with Caldeo. Right? 25 plus 6. 31. I could probably live one more, actually. No, no. Because after Toxic this turn. So I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump. He has no other choice but to bring in his Hippowdon right now. No other choice, because nothing else outspeeds. Something else is going to die, as long as I don't miss. <laughs> so, that's the plan right now. Brings in his Hippowdon, yep. So he can get that Sand Rush on his dog. I miss! I miss! I miss. And that could be the game. That's really unfortunate, because now I take all these hazards, and yeah, I just think I can't do anything now. If I didn't miss, he would have brought in Stoutland. Could have went <clears throat> for a superpower with my Norman Jaden. Even if it was brought down to it, I could have started bulking up with Conkledare. And I think it's a bit late for that now. So that's unfortunate. Um, I guess I'll just superpower. Don't care. Nothing else I can do. Really unfortunate. Oh well. I mean, would have been much closer. That's for sure. So unfor- gosh! <laughs> Now, now dog just, what does he go for? He goes for a turn, boom. Just so he can't whirlwind me out in the case that I somehow live this. If I live this, you know, awesome. But I didn't want to go for the mock punch because mm, it wouldn't really have mattered. I mean, probably would have had a better chance, but you know, if being at such low health, like Sand plus Toxic, eh, that would have been unfortunate. Um, so that's the end of this PS Live. Still decent stuff. Um, yeah, shout out to you, Caboose. <laughs> so when you see this on Sunday, that'll be awesome. Yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Still some decent battles. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub. And until later, peace.